Hi, everybody. Welcome. Yes, it is me live and in living color. Can you believe it? <laughs> so I have today three St. Patrick's Day toppers. So which one should we wear? And again, happy St. Patrick's Day. So let's start out with the kitties. Isn't this cute? Look at that one. That one goes pretty nicely with my shirt. So, <laughs> sorry. Oh, must have got a little water there. Well, hello, everybody. And welcome. Yes, it's amazing. I am here. Hi, Beth. Welcome. Hope you're having a great St. Patrick's Day. Let's see. What's, oh, there it is. <laughs> Said something went wrong. So, yes, I am back. I cannot believe it. February was, oh, dear. Sorry about that. February was not my friend. <laughs> I was sick almost the entire month. Also happens when you work with kids. So I have a new iPad. So I don't know if it looks good or bad or whatever. And I'm in my husband's office again. Um, and I don't know if this iPad has more uh, clearance. I don't know. So I adjusted it so it's not as... Um, you know, <laughs> it's a man's office. He doesn't care about how pretty it looks, you know, or how stuff looks, right? <laughs> so. Oh, no. You spent your spring break sick. Oh, that's horrible. Our spring break hasn't happened yet. Our spring break up here in the Northeast is going to happen um, uh, the, the day, the week after Easter. So that'll be nice. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. You know, Northeast, you can get like every season <laughs> in one day, actually, you know, so, but thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and hello to all those in the background. And yes, today I am live. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. But if you had seen um, my video I posted last week, it's been a little hard. Um, filming the treasure trailer because the New York weather is not cooperating. <laughs> um, one minute, and then you wonder why we're sick because we'll be like 40s, 50s, and then it'll be like 70 the next day. So it's like craziness. So no wonder why everybody is sick. <laughs> so um, my daughter and my granddaughter are taking a nap out there. So if you hear a little squeaking of a kid or yelling of a mom. No, I'm just kidding. You know, they don't always want to cooperate to take a nap, right? <laughs> Those that are moms or grandmoms and remember. But, whew. so yes, I did take some of the stuff that um, I found in my treasure trailer, which actually worked out really good because it was uh, springtime, St. Patrick's Day, Easter kind of things. So, I have 20 items today. Oh, there you are, Nora. I was wondering if you were coming on. Yes. Hi, everybody. Uh, don't forget, a like would be great. A subscribe would be even better um, because I am, I'm still hovering. I, I haven't broken, I think I'm at 545. So make sure you go and check and make sure that you are subscribed because I know because they like to unsubscribe people. <laughs> Hi, Linda Punky. Welcome. And yes, uh, subscribe and click the bell to be notified and um if you could please oh your guys are heading out to dinner yes so my sister and my maybe my mom i don't know um and my sister's fiance boyfriend um <laughs> are going out to dinner we've had ours we eat early on sundays so we've we've i've had my fill of corned beef and cabbage and carrots and <laughs> potatoes you know but and hi, P. Greg. Welcome, welcome. And um, yes, so thank you for coming. And uh, yes, my video that I did just a couple days ago, um, the video before that, whew, <laughs> I was cold. I had to go back in. So hopefully the, the weather will start cooperating more. Oh, yours is in the crock pot? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great, great meal. I just um, I have to figure out somebody who could make the um, Irish soda bread and we'd be all set, right? Growing up, you know, like my name is, my last name is Frank, my married name, but my maiden name is Shay. So I'm Mary Patricia Shay. Any more Irish? I just stick the O in there, right? I was a Irish dancer. I know all this, an Irish dancer, right? <laughs> and um, that I was also in a pipe band. 
so in a, a pipe of bagpipe and drum band. In 1988, I was lucky enough, we got to go to Ireland and I got to march in a parade at 14. Can you imagine that? It was awesome. And then I got to go back into Ireland with my husband in 2016 um, with my school. So that were, was very nice. It was like our unofficial honeymoon that we never had, you know. So definitely very, very Irish. <laughs> And um, at one point, I know my son's not going to like this, but at one point my son was interested and he did Irish dancing for a little while, but he was very um, active. He loved figuring out things to do. He wanted to wrestle and he wanted to, I can't think of it, little league, you know, he finally settled on Boy Scouts, which he became a very well-rounded well young man. <laughs> and my daughter, she did Girl Scouts for a little while, but that wasn't her thing. But luckily we had a horse farm next door. So hers, it was horses and Boy Scouts, which was nice for me because literally she just had to walk next door <laughs> for her activities. But today I'm going to really try, <laughs> really try to keep this to an hour because I have a very important meeting to get on at four o'clock Eastern time. If you've seen a couple of my lives or, or drop sales or just things that I've mentioned, I mentioned that I am now a travel agent and it's part-time, you know, travel agent. It's reclaimed or reclaim fun and travel. Well, we are starting the part where we're going to be training and creating like or doing a training on accessible travel. So that's helping people with, um, that are in wheelchairs, senior, um, uh, trips and autism and so all sorts of neat stuff. So this is our first official meeting of that training. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I get on that, but I didn't want to cancel again and neglect my YouTube family. Pardon me. <laughs> so here we are. So we got 20 items today and I actually have some giveaways today. So I have, um, some St. Patrick's Day giveaways and the 20 items, which you can probably see back here. It's a variety of stuff. Some, um, you know, gold and green and um, some of my outhouse stuff. So if you saw any like of my um, my video from last last week, if you um, didn't see anything here in this sale today and you were interested especially like the other outhouse things, just send me an email and we can talk about what you might've seen. Also, I had done a drop sale last week. Um, so, or no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't do any sale. Well, my last drop sale, I think was all that Christmas stuff. Yes. So if there was anything, um, not too many people got stuff from that drop sale. So if you, there's anything that you saw that you were like, Oh, I have to have that. Send me an email. Because I still have that stuff and um, just want to try to keep moving it along. And hopefully within the next month or so, I can start filming um, my sales or my other things out in the treasure trailer. So, all right. Enough of that gabbing around, right? Today we have 20 items. There's maybe one or two that we could do as an offer up. And then I have one, two, three, four, five giveaways. So I'll show you the giveaways. Uh, these were a couple of things that I made last year. So there was, of course, our little, our little um, pipe cleaner critter or peoples. And then this little one here. And then I've had some of these left over. They were like the little, they're just plastic, you know, from Target. But they're two little plates. And then I just love these, but nobody... I just want somebody to have these for their St. Patrick's Day. So that's the table runners. So I have one table runner here and then the blingy table runner. So those are going to be giveaways today. So I think I covered everything. Oh, no, I did not. I am Mary. I live in upstate New York, um, kind of near Albany, which is in the middle. <laughs> and I use pirate ship to get the best prices for you. And, um, I do a little bit of everything, crafting videos, uh, lives, uh, haul videos. Now we're doing treasure hunt videos to see what's in my treasure trailer because I haven't been in there in so long. <laughs> and then we can do some construction type ones, right? Um, figure out what we might like to do with the treasure trailer. 
So, okay. I have just been gabbing for the last 10 minutes. So why don't we get started? I don't have my trusty bucket because I can't get to it at the moment. <laughs> so I'm using my strawberry bucket. A little bit bigger. <laughs> but, all right. So let's pick out the first number. Okay. So let's see. All righty. So we have our Irish. I'm sorry it's making a bunch of noise. I apologize. <laughs> And hello to anybody. I'm pretty sure I said hi. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, I will be this coming week um, crafting my little tushy off, I hope. <laughs> I know. I get You get so caught up in everything, and then it's like, oh, my goodness. It just jumped out at you, doesn't it? Hi, Helen. Welcome. All right. So this is a pretty little dish, a little trinket dish. And I'm sorry, I thought I got all the sticker residue off. I'll have to get the, the goop remover, I guess you can call it. As we gather with family and friends, may there always be an abundance of love, laughter, and blessings to share. And this is very, it's not sp specifically Irish, but the designs are like a Celtic knot and there's shamrocks. So very pretty little trinket dish you know you could have it just like just as a display or something you know for food or something or crackers or something and this little beauty is going to be $12 number nine so $12 number nine and I am still getting used to where the camera is I know it's here <laughs> I'm gonna have to do what I did with my last iPad I put a little sticker right above the camera where the camera is so I'm looking at it because <laughs> I'd be all looking up here over there <laughs> so twelve dollars number nine and it will definitely be nice to get out my treasure trailer so that I have um not <laughs> not in little cramped it's actually not as cramped as it might look <laughs> really it's just the angle of things um this side no that side you don't want to see <laughs> that's where the little beauties um stay so if you hear the weird squeaking noise like <laughs> that's the uh reptiles let's just put it that way the reptiles are on that side <laughs> So they don't bother me, but you guys don't want to see them. So they're over there. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going. All right. Let's see. Oh, yes. Now this one is kind of cool. And, oh, sorry. It's going to make a lot of noise. Uh, uh, uh. This one I picked up, I think, last year um, or the year before. And it's pretty cool. It is a blue cheese spread recipe and dish and it's california usa pottery so isn't that cool nice brown color and right here you know and then it has blue cheese spread a cup of cottage cheese a tablespoon of chives some blue cheese some worcestershire shire sauce <laughs> what do they say on uh tick tock uh wash your sister sauce <laughs> no worries Nora. i'm not gonna do that <laughs> Three tablespoons of sour cream. It makes two cups. So, do a little Vanna White here. <laughs> so, if you're interested in the blue cheese spread, and it's in really good condition. I don't feel any chips or cracks, and it is California, USA. So, this is going to be $12, number seven. So, $12, number seven for this beautiful dish. All right. Now, just finding the spots to put it, right? <laughs> Okay, so how is everybody doing? All right, is everybody going to indulge in the, is anybody like, not like corned beef and cabbage that they won't eat it? <laughs> all right, we're going to do this a different way. So nothing, it's just I don't want to use the basket. That's all. <laughs> nothing special. All right. So what we do today is um, anything that, if anybody purchases anything today, then you'll be in a, um, drawing to win the um the little prizes 
And anyone that had ordered from me before in February, I am so sorry. I will be catching up this week and getting everybody's done and out the door. Gonna get hopefully the springtime will get us all refreshed and back on track, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so speaking of um, crafts, this little guy was something that I had, and he is a ceramic little mouse, and he's in a little pot of gold, so now, not only we have the leprechauns, we got the mice taking the gold, so <laughs> he's got a little gold coin in there, and some shamrocks, and so this little guy, he's going to be $4, $4, number 14. So $4, number 14 for this little cutie. And it's just a little craft that I made last year. So $4, number 14. All right. So how is everybody doing today? How is the weather where you are? We had some nice weather. And then it just kind of, you know, I don't know where it went, but it didn't stick around very long. <laughs> so hopefully i really do hope it's gonna get better because i really want to be able to get outside and do some stuff right all right so next on our agenda i don't know what that was <laughs> it was preteen boy next oh my goodness all right so <laughs> this is a a bunny obviously a bunny but it is a um candle holder so i don't know if you hold it this way or that way or you could decorate it you know so this little cute little bunny it's metal Isn't that cutie so this little cutie is going to be five dollars number eight five dollars number eight for this little cutie little bunny all right so I definitely will be working very diligently this week to make some stuff and have it so that we can have it for springtime and Easter. Because I can't believe that it's already the middle of March and that Easter's at the end of March. I can't believe it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and Nora, just to ask you, what toppers are you wearing right now? I have my kitty toppers, but uh, we also could have these or even just the black with the shamrocks. <laughs> but of course, my favorite have to be. All right. So. All right, what is next? Okay, all right, here is a blast from the past, everybody, right? I never thought that these little things would be popular, but <laughs> those are those big mouth froggies. Hello, I am a big mouth frog. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, so now. A couple of these things I did look up on the old bay, if you know what I mean. Um, and so these are comps that I got different things. So I didn't think these were as popular as they were, but we have a, a big mouth frog with a bee on his nose. And um, it's Ellie, I think, or Eliza. I don't know. <laughs> you can see it there. But this little cutie, he is adorable. He is going to be $10, number one. I think that'll fit. $10, number one. <laughs> there you go. You can hold your own tag. $10, number one for the big mouth frog. All right. <laughs> oh, look, you got to have fun, right? Okay. You can't just be boring, right? All right. Is everybody still here? Did you leave me? Did you? Fall asleep? <laughs> Are you in a corned beef and cabbage coma? No? Okay. All righty. Well, I'll just keep going. Okay. Thank you. I, sometimes I wonder. I don't know about, about the other friends out there that like Beth and Helen doing the sales and stuff. Do you sometimes you feel like you're just talking to yourself or what? <laughs> okay. So... 
This one I'm going to hold off on for a couple minutes. Got to uh, get a little bit of, not intent, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? I suppose it's supposed, it's supposed to be like riding a bike, but <laughs> I don't know. I never learned how to ride a bike, so I guess, I guess, um, I guess I'm in trouble. <laughs> so this is an adorable little carrot trinket dish. <laughs> I don't know what you'd hide in there, but you know, little cute little thing there, maybe a little bunny bun. And it's in really good condition. No, the only thing is maybe a little tiny rub off of the color down there. But other than that, it's in really nice condition. So this cute, oh, thank you. So this adorable little carrot trinket dish is going to be $5, number five. So $5, number five for the cute little trinket dish. <clears throat> Okay, so, ah, okay, when we were saying trinket dish, we have another cute little trinket dish here. So this one is a longer trinket dish. It's from, it's from Japan, it's made in Japan. That's the only saying that it says, but it's in nice condition. This, I definitely could see this as a little jewelry holder. Um, it has some of the Looks like that originally did have a um, line of the gold here, um, but I think that just gives it some character. Okay, I compare it to my head. I don't know. I didn't bring my tape measure today, so <laughs> so very nice trinket dish could be for your bedroom, your bathroom. Beautiful for um, the springtime. So this is going to be. Eight dollars number 16. So eight dollars number 16 for that beautiful little trinket dish. Okay, so get that one. All right, so whew. Well, anybody doing anything exciting? For Easter time coming up. I can't believe it's only in two weeks. Okay. All right. So I have some Irish coffee um, beverage holders, I guess you could say, because they're not all the same thing. <laughs> so this is going to be a choice. There's three to choose from, and they're all going to be $3 a piece. So you have your traditional Irish coffee mug. May you be in heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Very famous Irish blessing. And this one is from Japan. So this is our first one. This is a, it's a mug. It's really good condition. It has some, what I'm saying, I'm thinking factory flaws. It's like when they were glazing it. Yes, I love, this is one of the best sayings. <laughs> and one of the, I think one of the most popular Irish sayings as well. And then we have just our plain one, nice little glass. It just says Irish coffee. Okay, I don't know if you can see it in there, but there we go. Irish coffee, just a nice little glass of, you know. <laughs> or the one, now you may not know how to make Irish coffee. So this one will tell you. You have a, a bit of whiskey to this line, sugar, coffee, and cream. So this one also it informs you on how to make it. Okay, and then it says Irish coffee on the rim down here. If you can see that. Okay, so what they these are all for choice. They're going to be three dollars a piece number two. So what you could say is mug. So we have, okay, so $3 a piece, number two, and you have mug. So you could do the mug, glass. So this one is just glass. And this one is 
gold glass because of the gold rim. So gold glass. All right, Paulette, I got you for that. Thank you. All right, I will write you down for the mug. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, and that puts your name in for one of the prizes. Thank you. All right. So I loved, love collecting the um, Irish coffee things because they're very popular. <laughs> so thank you for that. And it's funny today, the only highlighter I could find was green. <laughs> All right, so let's keep moving. Okay, so any of our outhouse friends out there? Now, <laughs> yes, you might think it's kind of strange. I collect outhouse items, but the reason behind that is when I was growing up, I went to a Girl Scout camp and it was some very formative years in my life that helped me, you know, they accepted me for who I was because I didn't know, as you might have seen, um, if you saw any of my, I think it was a story or a reel, that I haven't always had these beautiful long locks. Um, so, and at my time back in the 80s, um, Afros weren't exactly the most popular and especially on the, I don't know. But just in case, I was made fun of a lot because of my hair, went to camp. And they had outhouses there. Not that we always, we, you know, you use an outhouse, you use it. But and I know it's, you know, ugh. but the aesthetic is still there. Hi, Linda. Thank you. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day to you, too. So, um, okay, long story short, aesthetic made me think of my childhood. That's why I collect outhouse items. <laughs> All that, just to say... We have one of the outhouse items now. <laughs> so this was um, some of the outhouse items I found. This is a outhouse with a bear and a moose. <laughs> and I have to take my glasses off for this. It is still waiting. Okay. Mary number. It says number. Mary 279. 2008. Mary Ann June. Penny Lane Publishing printed in the USA. So it says still waiting. So I don't know who's in there. <laughs> if the bear's out here and the moose, so I don't know, but they're still waiting. The only other thing they have is this here. There's no other markings on the back. So this cute little sign is going to be $8 number 13. $8 number 13 for this cute little outhouse with the moose and the bear and somebody's waiting. I don't know who's in there. <laughs> so $8 number 13. <laughs> okay. I do. I thought that was funny. I don't know who's in there, but. <laughs> All right. So I have a set. Now I have two of these sets, but the other set is going to be but is a totally different number. Oh dear. I have a few of the butterfly gold um, Pyrex, right? Yes, Pyrex wear. So this particular set here is a creamer and sugar, but no top. Because these came with a glass top, a clear glass top. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> Sorry. I'm drinking my water, too. Drinking my water like a good girl. Okay, wait a minute. Got to get some more of the, the gold. So I'm going to switch these out. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I have a set. These are well, a set of the creamer and sugar without the top. Got to keep that in mind. So. Very beautiful butterfly gold. This set is going to be $10, number 17. $10, number 17 for the butterfly gold creamer and sugar without the lid. Okay, so that's $10, number 17. Now, I am, if you're coming in a little late or not, that's fine. I um, just wanted to tell you that I have to be done by 4 o'clock. 
So I am not quite sure if I'm going to be able to do the recap. So if you do see something that you like and you want it, just definitely let me know if it hasn't sold already. But I will try my best. <laughs> okay, so we did that. Where to go? Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, here we go again with the other outhouse item. Now, this one I thought was kind of funny. This says, welcome to my humble commode. <laughs> and, oh, excuse me. <coughs> it says 3311 TRC 1995. So this is definitely a relic, right? Back when, this is when I got married, 1995. So we have our friend, grandpa there and his little doggy on the, there. And now this one is one of those paperbacks. So you have to be very careful or lean it on something. Very simple, but kind of, you know, kind of cute. So this is going to be uh, $5, number 11. So $5, number 11 for this cute little um, welcome to my humble commode <laughs> picture for outhouses. $5, number 11. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just keep on going. <laughs> we have our, I never say this right, so my sister and my mom, please, Erin Bra. Okay, and this is a cute little assemblage I made. It has the little, um, the little pipe cleaner girl and uh, die, die cut back here and on one of those cute little, um, tins. So this is going to be four dollars because this is from last year. Four dollars number 18. Four dollars number 18 for this cute little uh Irish girl holding the sign. Super cute. Four dollars number 18. Okay. So what else is going on in the YouTube world? I'm wondering today because <laughs> I don't know about you, but crickets, crickety crickets, crickets. <laughs> is it just me? Okay. So we have two, um, these ones I did have from before. And now um, these are St. Patrick's Day bingo cards that I make and they have been reduced. They're going to be each five dollars each, and we have we have um, we have the little Irish girl and her doggy. So Irish girl or gold. So gold or Irish girl is going to be five dollars a piece. Number nineteen. Number nineteen. We have irish girl or gold and those are going to be five dollars a piece number 19. okay probably everybody is out enjoying their corned beef and cabbage i enjoy having it at home and this year we got a lot we got for our family size now there's seven nine of us now around here nine of us we got five Five, count of five briskets of corned beef. Yes, that's how much we like our corned beef. Five briskets. <laughs> and luckily for the first time in a couple years, we have some leftovers, which is awesome. All right. So next, I have to do a better job of putting these together. I like to try to shuffle up the cards. It didn't work so well. Because the next one is this a cute Florida tray. It has all sorts. Of, it's a very vintage. It um, doesn't say what year, but it says it's Florida. It's the Gulf of Mexico, orange blossom, all sorts of things. It has all the different flowers of Florida. So pretty cool, huh? And of course, you know, it's that beautiful patina with the little spots. It's, you know, it's been through a few things, so you know it's vintage. So this beautiful, probably bigger than my face. Oh, geez. <laughs> Guys, and I definitely tell you, it's metal, because watch this. Oh, I won't do it now, will it? 
<laughs> it sticks to my glasses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, well, you can definitely tell it's metal because it's stuck to my glasses. That's funny. So this beautiful Florida tray is going to be $12, number 20. $12, number 20 for the beautiful Florida tray. <laughs> Yeah, is it metal? I don't know. Stick it to Mary's glasses. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Oh, gracious. Never a dull moment at one of Mary Reclaimed Treasures by Mary. Um, sales, right? I'm trying to put my water back there. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so <laughs> oh, let's see. Today. All right, so this next item is another multiple. And what it basically is, is that these are going to be $6 a piece. Number 10. Okay, so it's number 10, $6 a piece. And they are the growing up girls. So we have, they are growing up birthday girls. 1981, Unesco Corporation. So Okay, so they're going to be $6 each, number 10, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to put what age you want. So you could put 10, 8. So this is the 8-year-old, 10, 8, 10, 2. And I think if I'm, it looks like, okay. I didn't realize it until I just saw it, but there is a little tiny chippy chip right there. Just wanted to say that it doesn't really um, affect it too much. But so if you're still interested, eight, two, so we have age eight, age two, age four. Now age four, she still has her tag, age four. And baby. So they are all um, a Nesco. This one is 1983. Baby. Uh, number four is, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that's 81 too, but whoa. And then, of course, the eight year old was 81 and 81. So <clears throat> all of the girls are 1981, but the Baby is from 1983. So all of those are going to be $6 a piece, number 10. All righty. Put that back in there. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So let's see what we have. Oh, we have our last outhouse item. All right. So outhouse rules. Be neat. Leave it like you found it or find it. Put the lid down. Leave paper for the next person and shut the door so the chickens don't get in. Oh my. <laughs> so super cute little outhouse rules, right? And it's just plain on the back. Nothing exciting. Whoa. <laughs> so outhouse rules. And this outhouse rules is going to be $7 number 12. $7, number 12. Okay. Okay. So, our next item is actually going to be this other item that I made last year. It's called Luck of the Irish. And it is a vintage um, clover tin. Uh, and it has a little fa a boy with the little fairy wings, luck of the Irish, a gold coin, super cute. And it has this beautiful, like yellowish green sparkly hook. So you can hang that up. And this is going to be $4, number 15, $4, number 15 for this cute little luck of the Irish, little hanging decoration, $4, number 15. All right. Okay, so looks like we got all through all of that. 
on the back. So we just have a few more. Maybe I will be able to run through them a little bit. The crafting items I will not reduce because those are, you know, my crafting items. So it looks like we have three items left. Hopefully, guys, I hope I wasn't too boring for you today. <laughs> so let's see. All right. So first we have our two little bunnies. Now these, as someone said yesterday, they are cute yet creepy. <laughs> that doesn't say who made them. I don't know. We have our boy bunny and our girl bunny. And um, they are very rough. They don't really have any glaze on them except for the hair and the bunny on this one. And they almost have like that stucco uh, ceiling stuff is what they feel like. You know, that's remember the dreaded stucco. <laughs> so these little cuties are going to be $6 a piece. $6 a piece, number six. So $6, number six, and you can indicate girl or boy or pink or blue, whichever. Okay, so aren't they adorable? So $6 a piece, number six for the cute little bunnies. <laughs> so, and if not, if you don't choose these, you may see them in an assemblage. Because why not? <laughs> Okay, so that's those. Alrighty, so the last two items. Now, don't be too much of a sticker shock. Um, I did look these up, so that's why. Um, but they are both butterfly gold items. And amazing how much a top will increase the value. Now, this top has never been taken off still attached. So this top and bottom, the sugar and creamer set with the top, oh, sorry, didn't mean to give you the finger there, with the top is going to be $20 number four. So $20 number four for the sugar and creamer set with the lid. That lid right there is very important. So there's that. Number four, okay. And I left the best for last, which is the Butterfly Gold Gravy Boat or Syrup. So the Gravy Boat, look at that beauty, huh? It is the Pyrex. So the beautiful Gravy Boat is going to be $16 number three. So $16 number three for the beautiful gravy boat, butterfly gold gravy boat. Okay, hello. No, nope. actually, you know what? No problem, Charlene. Um, I have about 15 minutes before I have to hop off. So I will recap for everybody. So all right. Why not? Okay. So <laughs> welcome. And here we go again. I'll go over it again. Might you take a dollar or so off of things and we'll see and we'll run down what we'd like or what we have. All righty. So I'm just going to go down the line. Our little frog with the bee sponge holder. Let's see. How about $8? Eight dollars. Eight dollars number one eight dollars number one for our cute little um big mouth <laughs> foul mouth no big mouth um frog i couldn't think of the word oh my goodness friends oh yeah yeah all right so number two now i do have some of these left Number two are going to be $3 a piece. We have the two Irish coffee glasses. So we have our plain Irish coffee glass here, just says Irish coffee there. And then the one with the directions, the instructions of how to make an Irish coffee. Okay, so we have 
we have number two for three dollars we have glass or gold glass so we have glass or gold glass three dollars number two okay all righty number three um is the gravy boat so i could take a dollar off so fifteen dollars $15, number three, for the Butterfly Gold uh, Gravy Boat. Because um, that one I'm trying to, you know, stay close to the... Okay, so the Sugar and Creamer set, and of course I just dropped my, my pen, pen, hang on. <laughs> Here I am. Okay, so the... This one, I may have, <laughs> so the sugar and creamer set butterfly gold with the top, yeah, it might be a little steep, $15, $15, number four. So $15, number four. Okay. All righty. And let's see, where did it go? We have, oh, here it is. The little trinket box. It's a cute little carrot trinket box there. And this is going to be $4, number five. So $4, number five for this little cutie. $4, number five. Okay. Then we have the girl or boy bunny or blue or pink. So I could say $5, $5, number six. You could do blue or pink or girl or boy, $5, number six. Okay, let's see. Ah, the blue cheese, or yes, the blue cheese spread dish. So this beautiful spread dish is, it's a blue cheese recipe. It's California Pottery USA. And this is going to be $10, number seven. $10, number seven. Right. Whoa. Get back here. I had a little Butterfingers going on here. So $10, number seven. The butterfly candle holder. Look at this little cutie, little candle holder. Butterflies or butterflies. What the heck? <laughs> I do know my animals. That's a bunny. Okay, bunny candle holder is going to be $3, number eight. <laughs> $3, number eight for the cute little bunny. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so $3 for that. The little Irish trinket dish. Right here, we have... Look. Beautiful saying here, the Irish trinket dish is going to be $10, number nine. So $10, number nine. Okay. All righty. And so the Growing Up Girls, which are going to be number 10. I can, let's do $4. Why not? $4 on the Growing Up Girls. So these are growing up girls and they have the ages. The most of them are 1981. There's one, the baby, which is 1983. So we're going to say $4 a piece on these girls. So we have age eight. She does have a little chip here on her hat or her little hair thingy. So $4 age eight, $4 age two. Age four, and she still has her tag, so age four, and baby. Oh, dear. <laughs> what do they say? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so $4 on those. All right, so let's go back here with these. All right, so we have our little outhouse friend. So the outhouse with the little guy, with the guy, it says, welcome to my humble commode. <laughs> so he's got him and his little doggy, 1985. So he's going to be $4, $4, 
number 11. $4, number 11. Cute little sign if you collect outhouses like I do. Um, welcome to the, <laughs> the strangeness. I don't know. I love it. <clears throat> All right. So we have our outhouse rules. Outhouse rules. Be neat. Leave it like you want to. Wait, leave it like you want to find it. Oh, my goodness. Put the lid down. Leave paper for the next person. Shut the door so the chickens won't get in. <laughs> Cute little hang sign here. Five dollars, number 12. Five dollars, number 12. Okay. Then our last outhouse item <clears throat> is the bear and the moose. And it says occupied, and the title is Still Waiting. And it is from 2008. Very cute little hanging sign here. This is going to be $6, number 13. $6, number 13. Okay, my little Irish mouse. He's $4. I made him last year's a cute little ceramic mouse. He's got his coin, his shamrocks, and his little, you know, the little bling bling. I don't know. And the little Irish uh, pot, you know, at the end of the rainbow. Mouse got there before the leprechaun, you know. <laughs> so he's going to be $4, number 14. $4, number 14. Okay. And then we have, where'd she go? We have our luck of the Irish little um clover uh tin little hanging thing that i made last year same concept the little garland coin luck of the irish little fairy um, leprechaun guy whatever you want to call him he's gonna be uh four dollars number 15. and we have our japanese trinket dish because <coughs> it's from japan beautiful little trinket dish you know it's got a little wear on it but i think it would be perfect for jewelry or in the bathroom or something so this is going to be six dollars number 16. six dollars number 16. okay so we have the um <clears throat> the other creamer and sugar set that did not come with a top. So this is a non-top, non-glass top. And this is going to be $8 for this set. $8, number 17. $8, number 17. Okay. And let's see what else we have here. We have our little girl assemblage here. Um, cute little pipe cleaner girl and on the little um, tin there and she's going to be four dollars number 18 four dollars number 18. okay so two more well technically three more things because the one thing is two things <laughs> Does that make any sense okay so we have one of my vintage bingo cards so we have a hanging one here and that is the girl and dog or irish girl and then this one is says gold and it's a beautiful um flower on the side here now i will sign these and um with this particular one the gold one you can tell me whether you want it to be a magnet or a stand this one is a hanging one already but you can ask for a magnet or stand and i will sign both of these so they're going to be five dollars a piece number 19 five dollars a piece number 19 and all you have to say is irish girl or gold all right and last but not least our beautiful florida tray isn't that gorgeous florida tray okay has all the different uh flowers of florida so this one's going to be ten dollars number 20. so ten dollars number 20. Okay, friends, so now we've come to the giveaway time. So, being that right now, the only person that purchased something was 
uh, Paulette or P. Greg, and I'm going to show the items and you can pick what you would like as a free gift. And then why not? I'm feeling generous. I will um, do something and then we can give away the other things. So Paulette, if you're there, I'm going to show you the items and you can tell me which item you want as your free gift. We have the little Irish girl um, pipe cleaner and I can put a magnet on there. We have the little spool, the little um, shamrock girl with a spool. We have the plastic trays, the little dishes actually. We have the shamrock runner or the blingy shamrock runner. So Paulette or P. Greg, if you're there, still here, would you like to pick one? as your free gift, any of the five that I just mentioned. And if you need to, I, or if you need me to, I can re-put it up again. So, give you a few minutes. I'm hoping I will definitely be back. The Irish girl. Okay, so um, the pipe cleaner girl or the spool. <laughs> so you could say pipe cleaner or spool. Because these are both. There's this little girl and then this one. The pipe cleaner. Okay. All righty. So this is for, for P. Greg or Paulette. All righty. So let's see. Okay, so for we're gonna do I'm gonna do words and the, and the first person I see to put in the word will get the prize. So this little girl who's like on a, a, a spool, little uh, coin here and all this cute stuff. So shamrock. So for the first person to put in the word shamrock, we'll get this little girl um, as a prize. So shamrock. So if you're interested in this little cutie, just put in the word shamrock. Okay, that's okay. If you're interested in the plates, there's two plates, just put in the word plate or plates. If you would like the plates for free, just write the, type in the word plates. <laughs> They're just plates. Okay. Now this is only for now. It is not going to be if you see the replay. I'm sorry, friends. This was has to be here. So you'd have to be here for this one. <laughs> okay. So we have table runner. So if you're interested in getting this for free, no, no, you know, no, nothing tied to you. Just getting it for free. Table runner. If you put in the word table runner, you'll get this for free. And last but not least, if you type in the word bling, type in the word bling, B-L-I-N-G, bling. If you type in bling, you will get this table runner for free. You could wear it as a scarf, too, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> you could try to wear It's a little stiff for a scarf, but how's that? Oh, okay. Linda, table runner. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. I'll write you down for the table runner. Thank you very much. All right, friends. Oh, and the bling one, too. All right. Yes.
You want the both or you just want the blingy one? Because you can get both if you want the regular table runner and the blingy one. <laughs> so let me know if you want both. Okay, friends. Well, um, you can let me know. And it's four o'clock, so I have to jump on in a very important meeting. <laughs> so if you guys would be great to give this a thumbs up and the subscribe would be even better. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. So, all right, I will put you down for both. Okay, thank you very much. So, oops, dearie dear. So, if you happen to be on Facebook, just uh, pop on over to Facebook, check out Reclaim Travel, no, Reclaim, bleh, Reclaim Fun and Travel, my new travel agency, and I will be hopping on very shortly to um yes i saw that yes you want both of them and you don't send them out until you buy something thank you got those awesome <laughs> so yes so i'll be um working on accessible travel so if, you know for friends and families and that autism wheelchairs all sorts of neat things like that so stay tuned for all that information and if you saw something um, from my video that I just posted about the outhouse and the stuff I found in my treasure trailer, send me an email. Also, anything from that last drop sale, which was a couple of weeks back, a lot of that stuff is still available. Just send me an email, check it out, send me an email, and we can see what we can do because I'm trying to get that treasure trailer um, cleaned out as much as possible so that I can repair it and have my treasure trailer. All right. I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day, a great rest of the weekend, and a blessed week. See you later, everybody. Bye. Yeah.